haven't vlogged in a hot minuto. Hey guys, sorry about the really unflattering angle because I am currently en route. Uh, don't tell my dad I am vlogging and driving because he probably wouldn't be very happy with me. But again, the phone's not in my hands. It's not in my hands free. I am currently en route to first Chick-fil-A because for sort of business I need to eat something because then I am on my way to the airport because I am catching a flight tonight to JFK, spending the night in New York City with my best friend, and then tomorrow we uh, catch a flight from JFK to Greece. I wasn't doing beauty subscriptions, I wasn't traveling, I wasn't doing the things that had kind of formulated a following and cultivated a, a channel and an audience. It really put the kibosh on everything because I didn't know what people wanted to talk about. I wasn't that comfortable in my personal life to kind of spill the beans and spill details to say that like, okay, yeah, I'm dating somebody new or not new, but like new to this channel. And I wasn't comfortable talking about our situations because, you know, it's kind of still a learning process for him and I. I'm sure I will do a story time about that at some point in time. I just don't think right now is, you know, my place to say anything, but do know that I am happy in a relationship. I had really toyed around with the idea of solo travel. I didn't know how to go about it though. And realistically, I was like, I have the money, I have the, the means to do everything. I just didn't want to do it by myself because, you know, that's scary. One of my longtime best friends, Amanda, who you guys I'm sure will see in the videos, and her and I got talking about it, and she had gone through a lot of personal things in her life the past year to where she was at the point where she said, screw it, let's, let's go, let's go explore the world, let's go see the things that we want to go see, like, you know, she's always wanted to go here, I've always wanted to do this. Mark, who's stopping us? Like, we don't have kids, we don't have a house, we have no responsibilities in terms of other than ourselves, why wouldn't we go? We had happened to get an email from Gate One Travel, which is the travel agency that Ryan and I used when we went to Prague and Budapest. We're doing a flash sale for Cyber Monday or whatever um, holiday spending day it was. We're offering like 10 cities for five days and the total is like $5.89 per person for round trip flights and hotel accommodations. I had a list of like 10 cities and it was like London, Amsterdam, Berlin, Barcelona, Athens, uh, Prague, if I hadn't said Prague already. I had said to Amanda, listen, you know, I just got this deal. Let's talk about it. Let's think about it. I'm going to narrow it down to two cities for you or a handful of cities. You tell me where you want to go. She was like, well, you've been to Prague and you've been to Amsterdam and you've been to Berlin. And I said, but I can go back to Prague. She goes, no, no, no. Like we want to go somewhere new together. So I said, my top choices were Athens or Barcelona. And she had said to me, okay, um, I'm between those two too. Let's, um, how do we decide this? I had said to her, there's two things we can do. We can either do a coin toss, heads, tails, or we'll give it up to a democracy. We'll put it on a social media poll and just have our friends and family vote. We'll just say two cities, pick one, don't ask any questions, just pick two. And um, whoever wins at the end of this certain amount of time, we'll go there. And she was like, okay, let's do it. So that Amanda and I met on Twitter. And if you're not following me on Twitter, go follow me there but her and I met on Twitter so I was like well let's post a Twitter poll like everybody on Twitter knows us as friends know that we love to get into shenanigans let let them decide our vacation we put it on Twitter we put it on Instagram and it was funny enough because um both polls switched differently like Twitter pulled for Barcelona and Athens was pulled from Instagram so we were like shit now what do we do uh, by this time whoever's leading with more votes. So like my Instagram pulled a lot better than what my Twitter did. So I said, we'll go with the majority vote. If more people are voting on Instagram and voting for this on Instagram where I have more of a following, we're going with that. And we did and I booked the flights and I booked everything and it was 589 bucks per person for us to have round trip flights from JFK and uh, hotel accommodations for four days in Athens. So can't beat that. November, I found flights from Boston to Barcelona for under $200 thanks to Fairdrop and uh, shout out to Nate and Kara for that service because if you guys know how much I adore them, then you'll be sure to check out their service. I'm so mad at myself. 
myself that I didn't continue traveling in 2019 because I felt like that really would have helped me tenfold when going through with the breakups with both Ryan and Kenny and, you know, kind of just really relearning myself because um, a lot of the reason why I wasn't on this channel or I wasn't on this website or I wasn't, you know, doing the things that I used to do was because I lost myself. It's, even sitting here now while I'm driving talking to you guys, it still feels weird. Like it's a good, it's a good feeling and it's a good comfort of getting back into everything because I do want to make 2020 a year of self-growth and being the person I want to be. And if that's solo traveling or traveling with my best friend to foreign countries, then hell yeah, let's do it. I, I'm really excited for this trip because this is the first trip I've taken internationally without Ryan. Um, I'm scared shitless. If I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'm scared shitless because I, I don't have a backup plan if all goes awry. I don't have that security that, you know, he provided. Granted, him and I fought a lot and, you know, it wasn't always the best company to keep on these trips, but I don't have him to rely on if it all goes to shit. And with everything with the coronavirus and everything else that's been going on, like, I had a lot of people say to me, like, are you sure you want to do this trip? Are you sure you want to go? Do you think it's a good idea? Are you sure? And I'm scared shitless about this trip, but I also know that I have never been more ready for a trip to prove my worth. And if I can handle this, then I can handle anything. And I've been through quite a bit in the past. I can't tell if that's a stage trip. Slow down. It's gonna be a fun trip. I'm going with one of my best friends who has been going through it, and I know she needs this in the worst kind of way. And I, I want to be able to give it to her. I want to be able to say, "Hey, you can do it." By the way, it was a stadium. <laughs> and yeah. So with that said, I'm gonna keep driving because I just passed a state trooper. Thank you again for whoever has stuck around because it really does mean a lot for me to have you guys understand and kind of be patient that, hey, there might not be content or, hey, um, I'm not there, but I'm still there. Um, so thank you to everybody who has remained loyal followers and who has remained in this, you know, audience. It's been not a tough journey, but it's just been like not as fulfilling as I wanted it to be. I'm just really craving some Chick-fil-A and I'm really excited. So, um, yeah, this might be its own separate video because, like, I'm not really too sure how this will fit into with the rest of my videos. Um, but yeah, be sure to subscribe. It's been such a long time, I don't even know how to close a video out anymore. Be sure to, um, like this video. Be sure to get notified when I post new videos. Um, follow me on all my social medias. I will link them, post them, wherever. And... Yeah. Thank you guys again so much for everything, for all your kind words, for your patience, and for your support more than you guys will ever know. That means so much to me. Uh, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and keep on driving. <laughs> so I will talk to you guys later. Uh, love you always. I don't even know how to close my own videos out. Oh, this is embarrassing. But um, thank you guys again. I will see you soon.